God bless you. God bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus, our precious Lord. I have a very nice word for you from the Lord to bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, Zakadrika <laughs> Kadiano. I want to read uh, please share 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 so other get also blessed with the word of God we live by and through the word and nothing with the word is can be have life all is made and through the word of God he was Jesus he is Jesus forever and more Listen, 1 John 27, 1 John 2, chapter 2, 27. But the anointing which you have received of him and binding you. Listen, in John 15, verse 7, teach us if the word is, is if you, if Jesus, Jesus said to the disciples, if I abide in you, you can ask what you want. This, I read it. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, the word, he is the word, the word became flesh in you, comes flesh in you. If you renew your mind, your word system, you get out, you get rid of from the word system from the world with his feelings and his strange kind of feelings and ideas how to live but if we receive Jesus the word if ye abide in me you step out of your out life and you step step in him you entrance in the word by the knowledge you step in him and my words abide in you in your heart ye shall ask what ye will and I and it shall be done unto you it's in speaking about a transfer and speaking about a heart treasure and stepping out yourself in Jesus by knowledge. Okay. I want to go back and to it's the word, the knowledge, and then it's the spirits. But the anointing which ye have received of him abide in you you receive listen let's teach the word in Galatians 4 um, 6 it's teach that the father by you receiving the word from God from Jesus in your heart that the father sent his son and because ye are sons, you are reborn through the knowledge from the word. You are reborn to the word of God. God had sent forth the spirit of his son in your heart. And then you know by yourself, you are crying, Abba, Father. You are speaking by the word. Your feelings by the word changed. There must be in change. And you must fit this change why this in relationship and every relationship is in communication from heart to heart if the, that's a love relationship with the, the with the son very key galatians 4 6 says the sick first six but anointing which you have received of him abide in you now you know it and yet need not that any man teach you why Jesus Christ is in your heart you have to feed him with reading from the word and the Holy Spirit teach you but as the same anointing teach you of all things also the expression there must be an evidence from the other expression in you you must to look inside and to find out by the Word of God and by following teachings online and go to the church 
and see and look to other people they walk on very long time you can see paul say walk in my walk in the same footsteps and that means he say also is i want to read it for you let us therefore as many as be perfect through the walk with christ you get be perfect in feeling in thoughts is amazing be thus minded like minded and if in anything be otherwise minded god want to show to reveal even to this to you by the anointing in your heart nevertheless we to we have already attained it let us walk by the same rule let us let us mind the same things like jesus did the boundaries from jesus was i, I do only what it, only, i do only what i see the father doing that were the guidelines the the restrictions also for us and if we look to this picture this image from jesus and and god re can reveal this to you if you in your quiet time if you love him if you obey him listen this the other scripture was philippians philippians 3 15 and 16 corinthians 11 1 corinthians 11 be ye followers be ye follow, followers of me say paul even as i also i am of christ that means we need to see a picture to see an example by words by experience that convert in our in our in our the, the anointing use other examples around us he teach us something and then by the teaching in your heart by reading the words you are mirroring by the word like a mirror you look in the mirror with an open face that means an open heart you receive the word and then can the anointing you can teach you and lead you to a certain teaching online and say look this and it can maybe in one word or a, a number or and, and picture in mind of a name in the mind and then by by looking at then you get uh, attracted to one or two lines you're hearing and the holy spirit will minister to these lines to you so is the inner anointing teaching you it's very powerful if you understand this it's very very powerful and you can read but you have to divine it by making notes so you can sharpen yourself by what you're writing down from the spirit and so can you so you can discern what is from the spirit and what is our devil speaking and the lord will is always life always peace always light light okay i want to round it up And there is no lie there's always a consistency it's always one line and even as it had taught you you yet so abide in him he inviting you and you abide in him by no more living by your own rules your own feelings that is a price you have to pay otherwise you step out out of the protection out of the world of God and you walk back in the world I want to round it up it John is a very beautiful chapter John 3 and then Jesus answer and say to the scribe the scribe was teaching by the words from the law but he can see he can see 
Jesus, what Jesus. He can only see the person. But you receive Jesus in your heart. You have sight by receiving the Spirit of God. Jesus answer and say unto him, Very, very say unto thee, except a man born again, he cannot see the King of God. You have sight from God. Please share, share, share. So other get blessed that the Lord send up you and keep you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.